Welcome to the video guys. This video is all about doing high intensity interval training and the protocol that I use when using an assault bike. I'm a big fan of HIIT training. Um, this can be done in or outside of a gym using a piece of equipment or not. In this specific video, we're going to talk about the assault bike. It is an amazing form of equipment that's low impact. It doesn't take up a, a lot of space if you have one or want to set one up at home. Um, and it works not only your up lower body, but also your upper body when you're doing the movements. I like to use an interval of 20 seconds on of all out max effort, a minute 40 recovery. So that makes each interval that I do two total minutes. This is the exact same way that I do dead mill sprints as well, or any form of hit cardio that I do. The goal of this video is to show you guys the amount of effort and energy that you need to put forth in order to elicit a response by doing hit. A lot of people are doing hit, but they're not actually giving 110%. So the biggest takeaway I want you guys to have is when you do hit for that interval, it should be all out effort. Like there's a bear or an alligator chasing you and you have to get away from it. So you want to give 110%. Welcome to the video guys. This video is all about doing high intensity interval training and the protocol that I use when using an assault bike. I'm a big fan of HIIT training. Um, this can be done in or outside of a gym using a piece of equipment or not. In this specific video, we're going to talk about the assault bike. It is an amazing form of equipment. That